In this video, we're going to look at observation at junctions and roundabouts. Now, observation is different to mirrors. When you're checking your mirrors, you're watching out for any traffic or danger behind you as you change position on the road up ahead. Observation is about looking and watching ahead and giving way to any traffic or road users on the main road that you wish to enter. Or in the case of a roundabout, giving way to the right or anybody already on the roundabout. So in simple terms, mirrors is about moving your eyes, whereas observation is about moving your head. And that's the key point, keeping the head moving, not looking the one way too long and understanding the one last look. So approaching the roundabout, watching out for any signs or road markings to ensure you're in the correct position. And as you're approaching the white line, just give lots of quick looks to the right, quick, short, frequent looks to the right. And then that will help avoid drifting into the other lane. Because if you stare to the right too long, there is a good chance that you may drift over into the other person's lane or at least straddle the white line here. Especially considering a lot of roundabouts are slightly curved to the left when you get down there. So anyway, lots of quick looks. And then just as you get over your white line, let's just say half a car length over your white line approximately, you would then give one last look to the right. And that will be just a confirmation look, just, just a double check to make sure everything is okay. So let's say you're going straight on the roundabout. So you're just proceeding 12 o'clock straight. It's always good just to get, as well as getting the middle and left mirror, which you would get the right side mirror here as well, just in case any car may decide to overtake you and proceed on in the same direction as you. So this is a T-junction here. So presuming you're taking the left, mirrors indicate left and keeping left here at the junction as it curves off to the left. Stopping at the line, presuming you need to stop, keeping the head moving both ways, constantly giving good checks left and right, no staring the one way too long. Even though you're going left, don't just stare to the right all the time because you could end up missing this pedestrian that may cross the road. So keeping the head moving, and then just as your front wheels go over the white line, uh, just say a couple of feet over the white line, you would then give one last look to the right. Just a confirmation look to the right to make sure everything is okay. So here we have a right turn. The red car is turning right. So he would check his mirrors, he would indicate, and then move over to a right of centre position in his lane um, to take the right turn. Now, even though it might be a give way or a yield sign because of the broken white line, you would still stop here because it's too blind. I mean, you're blinded by the wall here and you're blinded by parked cars here. So stop and then just edge out bit by bit, just slowly using clutch control, edge out in order to give you a better zone of vision. That's what it's all about here. And once you have a good zone of vision, once it's safe to go, you would then make the move but just as you're beyond your first white line, but well before this white line, just before halfway across your lane, you would then give one last look in the direction of the red car, just to make sure everything is okay. A confirmation look because you're joining the red car's lane. So many quick looks and then one last look. At the same time, watching out for any pedestrians, children or cyclists that could be around the junction. So as you can see, if you're turning left, it's one last look right. And if you're turning right, like here, it's one last look to the left. So let's have a look at some practical examples now of me when I was out driving over the last couple of weeks, where you will see me deal with some junctions here. Firstly, a roundabout, and then a T-junction, and then traffic lights. And notice the observation, the fact that I'm keeping the head moving, and I'm getting the one last look. So here it is. So this time I'm going to take the second exit on the roundabout to go straight. So I'm just checking my mirrors, having a nice gradual slowdown, getting down to second gear, taking up position the left hand lane, and I'm trying to preview the roundabout now, making sure everything's okay. So it looks fine, just one last look to be sure. Keeping in the left hand lane when I get level with this island, indicate checking the mirrors as I come off. Okay, so we're going to be taking a right turn here where I can demonstrate the one last look and how important it is because it's, we're going to be coming onto a quite a major, quite a busy road here. So right, so mirrors and signal right. Double check the mirrors again. Now I'm aiming to keep right here, very, very close to the right hand side here. 
It only says you, but I'm going to stop anyway because I'm crossing two lanes, taking a right turn. Now, my job now is just to creep out nice and slowly, leaning forward. So getting lots of quick looks. Looks okay now. Looks fine. And then just one last look to be sure, and everything looks fine there to go. So that was just a demonstration of the one last look on a right turn. Purely a confirmation look, just to make sure everything is okay to complete my right turn. Now I'm coming up to a set of traffic lights here now, so I'm going to make sure that I follow the rules for traffic lights as well as get the one last look. So I'll be taking the right, so mirrors, signal right. Just slowing down here, there's a bit of a tight gap here with these cars, so I'm just slowing down, still plenty of room though. Now there's an oncoming car here, so I must let that oncoming car go. So I roll into the middle, get my indicator back on there. No oncoming cars now, so I'll save and just one last look to be sure, and off I go then. So I get that one last look there just to be sure. Now there should be nothing coming from my left, but you never know with um, emergency vehicles or cyclists, somebody could break the red light or a pedestrian could be coming. So even though I have the right away, it's good to get the one last look just to be sure. So that's all for now. I hope this video helped you gain a greater understanding of observation at junctions and roundabouts. If you enjoyed it, you may also enjoy another one of my videos that I made recently called Five Things You Should Know About Roundabouts. And in that video, I cover lots of things, not just observation like we did today, but also position, signals, and lots of other stuff. I will leave a link to that video in the description below. So please have a look at it. Uh, let me know what you think. And I will see you very soon for another driving lesson video. Thanks for watching.